Well, welcome back. Take two, let's have another go. So Friday afternoon, a bit slightly different situation to last week. So I actually, I actually booked the day off today. I've been working on the Sprinter, uh, failed the MOT this week. It's not good news given that we're going to Wales next week. So uh, I've had the day off, done the repairs for that, new ball joint, adjusted the AMRA, a few bulbs, bits and pieces. Uh, so we're all done, finished a lot earlier than I expected. So it's just gone 1pm. However, it is today school breakup day. So I sat nav at the minute saying it's an hour and 40 to get to Hull. So sat nav saying 10 to 3 we'll get there. I'd like to be fishing for four if possible, so wish me luck. This is one of the big issues that I've had this week trying to figure out where I'm going to fish. The unpredictable weather. Frankly, rain doesn't bother me, it's the wind. This week, the wind, I decided to come up on the whole nest coast. That was a given. I'm going to come pick some bait up off my hook. I'm going to pick some rigs up off my hook. Also, Mike's got me a new rod as well. Um, so I'm going to pick that up off of him. But yeah, the wind, it's been flat calm off the whole nest coast for a couple of weeks now, to the point where the colour was starting to drop out of the water. Uh, and what day are we on today? Friday. So Wednesday, it changed from a, a sort of gentle westerly to an onshore, and it picked the sea up a little bit. And I started querying whether I was making the right choice or not. But overnight, last night, late last e yesterday evening, the wind turned around to a westerly again um, and it's taken the heads off the water so it's calming down quite nicely. Um, in fact I'll roll you on some footage that I took this morning from uh, from the Within Sea webcam. It's just gone three o'clock, been to see Mike, picked up a, a new any fish anywhere GBFS Pro so I've got a pair of them now, some rigs for whales next week I've been to see Mark, got some fresh ragworm, and he's given me some, some new uh, frozen baits that he's got in to try out. Half beaks these are called, he's, uh, he's doing those in bulk at the minute. So yeah, he's got them in, vac packed, you can vac pack pack of four, or he's doing bulk post or postal orders, mail order, 50 or 100. Um, again, check out quids and bait and tackle. So, oh actually. I've got a bit of oil on my face, no wonder people are looking at me funny. A bit better, isn't it? Uh, right, so yeah, it's literally two minutes past three now, Friday afternoon. Traffic, I'm pleased to say, it was an absolute breeze, no stopping nowhere. Um, so, obviously, paid me penance last week. Uh, let's go and find a beach to fish on. Now, that is not looking too bad, I would have said. A bit of surf on. Could be some decent bass come out today. Right, I found a spot. You can see the lifeboat station just behind me, so I'm on South Woodensea. Not a spot that I've fished for quite a while actually, but looking at the beach, it's, uh, it's fairly steep, so I'm hoping we'll be able to beat some of this swell that's rolling in. The sea is fairly flat, but there are some big sets rolling in, and if I turn you around, say flat sea big sets first well I've got the rods up as high as I dare put them trying to keep the tips up and out the uh, out the surf but still knocking around a fair bit and then if I bring you back down here you might be able to see if I zoom all the way in right there these weeds hanging off here in the line. So yeah, um, there's not much more to report than that other than that. I haven't got the big camera out, I'm on my phone still at the minute. Purely because, one minute, it's blazing sunshine, it's still fairly warm, I'm sat here just in my hoodie. But one minute it's blazing sunshine and the next it looks like going to absolutely flog it down so I'll keep an eye on that uh, it does say something like a 60% chance of rain between now and 6 it's coming up to quarter to 5 I've had a very relaxed setup. 
not putting myself under any pressure this week. I just want to recover the force that was last week and get a few hours of some sand under my feet, really. Fish will be a bonus. Baits for the session, then. I've got some remarks. Lovely ragworm, fresh in this morning. I've got some peelers, which I'll be honest, these have been defrosted and refrozen about four or five times now, so they're probably no good for nothing. I've got Old Faithful Squid, and I've got these half beaks, which are a new bait that Mark's got in. He's asked me to trial out today. So, get some of them on, see how we go with them. Somebody commented the other day, actually, that I'd have had a better session if I'd have had fresh worm. And it led to a bit of a debate as to what the favourite favourite bait was. My favourite bait by far is squid. If there's one bait, if I had to choose one bait for the rest of my life, squid would be the one. But I'm intrigued, drop it in the comments. If you had to choose one bait for the rest of your life, what would it be? This is what you want. Raves, rods, so, rallies. So they're getting a huge amount of air on the uphill crest, which is good to see. It's kind of quarry section there, they're moving through, which is nice and wide here. And it's quite so Second baits have been out now for 20 minutes or so. Oh, it's gone to go. Mate, fish and chips. Coming off for me, none, did he? That's what I want. Now, whether it's because the water's coming closer in. I'm tired of getting closer to the stand, should I say. But uh, it seemed to have been bothered as much with weed. Hopefully, this wind's turned round a bit now. Oh, I said that. Yeah, this wind's turned round a little bit now, so... It was an easterly blowing onshore. It's sort of died off, it's gone southerly. But it's supposed to, in the next hour, go westerly. So I was hoping it was going to push that weed back out, but it's died up all together, that's even better. And it doesn't look like it's completely disappeared. But that is a lot better than what it was earlier. Hooks, however, have been picked clean, so we need to start rebaiting a bit quicker. This is all the weed, this is off one retrieve earlier, all this lot. So, like I say, it's uh, certainly died down. And it's uh, luckily fairly easy stuff to pick off, so I can't complain too much. Oh, we've got some crawling up with bloody face there. Bloody things. Anyway. Let's try. I've had to wrap everything back up because it started raining. Let's get into some of these. Let's try these, shall we? I think what I'm going to do, because there are, you would expect, bass about, I'm going to take one of these. What I'm going to do is fairly well scaled as they are. So, what I'm going to do, pop that off, do that, I'm just going to find the centre bone, just going to run the knife down, one nice long fillet, like so. that off. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to score the flesh. Score that all the way down. Because I'm going to descale that a little bit better down this end. So, stab me up through there. And I'm just going to fold the fillet over the hook like that, put that to the fold it over the line. So 
so it keeps everything nice and streamlined. Now I'm just going to put that on. Into a nice little thin sausage. Probably could have got two baits out of that one, Philip, in all honesty. I'm sure if you can see that, the oil's all over my fingers. A really oily fillet of fish. I'm just going to circle hook. Nice to the top of there. Right down. And there you have. A lovely little... Lovely little fish bait. Let's stick that out of there, see if there's some big bass about. These and all the winds that blowing in this week though, I'll tell you one thing, I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not, but look at the colour it's brought in. Colour. Probably what? Quarter mile out. You can see the difference. I mean, I can see it very visibly here. Hopefully it brings it out on the camera okay. Well, that sort of colour is what you're looking for when you're fishing. So there's one thing, we're certainly not struggling for colour tonight. Well, so far, folks, the big camera has remained away. I'm dressed for all five seasons. Uh, yeah, it can't make, make its mind up what it's doing. Starts spitting, stops spitting, chucks it down, doesn't chuck it down. Um, so, yeah. Fishing-wise, very unproductive. I haven't had a single knock. We've been fishing for time we're on. Coming up to three hours, it's almost high tide. We've got about another 20 minutes or so to high water. And yeah, not a knock. I've seen a small ray, and when I say a small ray, might have touched two pound maybe um, out of what we've got now. About nine anglers. I haven't seen anybody else get excited. So yeah, very quiet night. But it's great to be out, like I say, after uh, after the palaver last week. Set no expectations this week. Just wanted to get back out, get the line in the water, get some baits wet, and just chill out. And I've got to say, I've nailed that, so quite pleased with myself about 20 minutes now till our water probably gonna fish it till 10 maybe 11 we'll see um, so yeah about two hours down something like maybe three hours hopefully as it starts to drop dark um, when this tide starts to ebb we might start to see some bites come on so if I replay what happened we had an hour and a half First hour and a half I was here, uh, it was weed, 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 weed. Um, lines full of the stuff, hook lengths full of the stuff, weights full of the stuff. After that, crabs came on, they were relentless. Every 10 minutes or so you're re rebaiting. And now it's just dropped dead, completely dead. So the last two baits have come back untouched. Baits I've got out of the minute, what have I got out of the minute? I've put another fillet of the um, the half beak stuff out try that like I say it's it's a very oily fish fillet looks like it could be really good I'm tempted to get Mark to mail order me some to uh, home because it'd be too late to pick some up tonight and take some to Wales with me next week and then on the other odd we've got crab and ragworm combo on there because, like I say, once you get through this swell, it's actually still pretty calm out there, so I'm hoping there's still some smooth iron about. I keep teasing about Wales, then. So next weekend, me and my dad are fishing the well Welsh Open Pears Festival over at Patheli, sponsored by Akios. Um, there was about 60-odd pears, I think, entered into it. So that should be good fun. If you're over that way or you're bored next weekend, feel free uh, there's a facebook group just search wells open pairs festival you'll find it get yourself booked on get over there all right what i'm going to do is i'm going to mix things up a little bit because i don't really want to blank nobody wants to blank do they so i'm going to bring this pulley dropper over here what i have done is 
I've got out just a two hook flapper, some little size four hooks on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab two reasonable size worms. I don't want to do that one's a bit smaller. And I'll tell you what, it's hard to try and find small worms in this lot. So that one. Yeah, there it will do. those on very loosely. Now I like to leave them flapping a little bit. Like that. Same with this little fella here. Might be talking to myself. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see in the GoPro. I haven't spent any time to be honest setting cameras up this session. There we go, and on there I've just got a six ounce rolling lead because I'm going to fire it out there and I'm just going to let that flap around because you know one thing I don't think I have caught on my species hunt this year, whiting. I got all excited and I thought no sooner have I just sat down that little scratching rod doubled over but I have noticed that that rolling weight line's gone really slack I don't think it's going to be possible at all to keep that line tight it's the left hand rod at the minute that's got that fla flapper on uh. It might have to have a gripper lead on it in a minute if it carries on rolling around like this because there's no bites on there. Well that is more than enough for me. I've just done that whole outro um, and I never press record on the, on the camera. <sighs> anyway, uh, yeah, blankety blank for me tonight. Absolutely nothing. Two hours, fish it to two hours after high water, the weed came back on again. Wind's starting to pick up now as well. Sea's flattened off, the wind's coming over the top of your heads, so it's a westerly now. Um, so yeah, sea's flattened right off, but the wind, uh, the weed, sorry, is a pain in the arse. Not a knock. There was fresh ragworm, there was frozen squid, there was the half beaks um, that Mark's got in that I tried. Blueies, I had some blueies as well, tried them. Crab absolutely nothing i saw like i said i saw a small ray come out other than that there's about nine blokes out there tonight or nine people should i say in this day and age uh, and no that was it just that one tiny ray between all of us so very very slow going anyway like i say off to wales this coming week basically as soon as the van's ready we're off um so i've got to get it's all stripped out i've got to get a bed fitted for jack but the main target is get down to Patheli next weekend for the Welsh Open Pairs Festival. Um, me and my dad are booked onto there, so we've got a campsite down there Wednesday to Sunday, I think it is. Um, so looking forward to that. Uh, and like I say, I've been to see Mike today and picked up a new ra new rod, hopefully to go after some big stuff. So stick around, subscribe if you haven't already. Hopefully plenty of uh, plenty of action coming up in the coming weeks. Hope you've enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care and tight lines. And I hope that was recording this time. Yes! <laughs>